Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Paper Lily. Well, this was another continuation of the prologue, which was actually Project Cat. As some of you guys may know, that I've played the series on this channel right here. <laughs> oh! Since it was announced back in January, I decided to pick up the game, at least because I was the early one to get it. Another continuation of this. But I am really hyped about this. So, without further ado, on new game right here the first item in the to-do list is always the hardest one to go cross off if you could just get one item done the rest will surely follow we just need to start that's why some people find the easiest item first and start from there it gives them a better chance at getting something done it's because setting things in motion is difficult Choosing to do homework is difficult. Choosing to clean your room is difficult. Choosing to get out of the bed is difficult. Change is uncomfortable. It's always easier to leave things the way they are, to let the flow carry you. Until you reach a point where doing nothing does more damage than doing anything. When this happens, change is no longer a choice. It's a consequence. Is this also a choice? A choice to do nothing? For now, I'll focus on getting the first item on the list done. All you need to do is pick coffee on that and just make room. Can I get? Oh, uh, hello! What the? This girl started to fall out of me. Oh my gosh, she looks beautiful. Whole vibe is really unsettling. Let's get over this quickly. Um, hello? Could I? When can I get you? A coffee and macaroons? Macaroons? What kind? How many? Uh, the pink one. That can be strawberry or raspberry or cotton candy. Maybe one of each? The minimum is six. Okay. So, two of each. Two of each? Yes. And a coffee. What kind of coffee? Just coffee. Black latte with milk, with whipped cream. Also, what size? Um, actually, just a bottle of water, please. A water in the six micro? Yes. All right. <coughs> Have a seat. I'll bring it for you. That was embarrassing. I scared the cashier and couldn't even get what I wanted. I can't even do this much. What is it? Did you notice that girl too? Is it just me or does she seem strange to you? I was just about to say the same thing. She gives off creepy vibes. Yes again, just ignore them. Do you want to move? I feel impolite switching tables now but... Yeah, let's go. Go, go, before she curses us or something. Lacey, relax. It's just two girls. You can put up with it. Uh oh. That girl, isn't she the daughter of the family who lives on the next block? Oh my goodness, you're right. Man, just being another of her gives me the chills. What is it about her, I wonder? Whatever, she's a freak. Mommy, can we leave? That lady. Shh, don't look in her direction. Put your food and we'll go. I don't want it anymore. I want to go. I've met her brother though. He was one of my classes. She's nothing like him. Mommy, she's scary. I pity the poor people who have to share a classroom with her. Imagine what her family must feel having a daughter with such a reputation. Oh man, and after what happened? Sucks to have a broken family. They don't deserve that. It's probably her fault, don't you think? Whoa. That was unexpected. Ah, uh, I couldn't even get what I paid for. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is chapter one, baby. <sighs> that was terrible. I knew it was a bad idea to go up. 
At least that's out of the way. I need to lie down for a minute. Looks like we got a visitor though. Alright. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Leave 6010. If you're watching this, you make a good out of it. A crow gets much in front of your house. Maybe it's waiting for some food. I brought the bird food with me. I just have to fill up the feed. Yeah, I already know. Alright, we should bring out the food. The bird food right here. Boom, done. Now, what's next on the list? Eat the meal mom left me. Eat my tumble ghost and say goodbye to hero. Things to do before I die. Well, that was an um, sarcastic way to say it. Lacey, now we need to eat the food that was actually left on the fridge. Do you want to have to? Of course I do. Mm-hmm, yum yum. Very delicious. For our last meal, it kind of sucked. I wonder what's that note right there. A note from your mother. Read it. Of course I do. Your dad and I will be back on Monday. There's food in the fridge, Mr. Heat, though. Aww, that's a sweet message for you. I think I'll go straight to my room. <gasps> Lacey! You! You scared me. What? Did you go out? I did. Just for a little bit. Seriously? Yeah, I grabbed. Wow, you went outside? Into the world? That's incredible. I'm so proud. A week ago, you weren't even opening the front door. She finally went outside. The tides are shifting. History is being made. Next, you'll be going to the market, then back to school. You'll make so many friends. It's gonna be amazing. I really think you're exaggerating. No way! You've been cooped up for so long! It hasn't been that long. Now that you've mastered that, we can go for an ice cream. Together! No way, it didn't actually go that well today. I messed up my order, and... I left really fast. Then I'll order for you. I'll do it until you can order on your own. It will get better. Out of pocket for that shit. It won't unless I fix the root cause of the problem. You mean you're still doing the ritual? Yes. I see. Well, I won't object anymore. Just be wise. I'll be outside if you need me. Aw, that's adorable. Love the character design on like this. It's pretty cute. Ah, finally. Ah, why is life on such a high difficulty set? Maybe I'll just nap this day away. No, 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 what am I saying? I have things to do. Especially after today's experience. Discover that there's no other way to move forward. All right, let's not waste time. This letter is the real deal, isn't it? Just holding it make me nervous. All right, we got obtain a ritual letter. I still can't believe it actually arrived. On the forums, some people waited for months and it never came. But for me, it only took a day. This is my first ritual, but it's my first time getting intentionally spirited away. Anyways, I need to tie a red thing onto the phone, paint some symbol at the front door, then go to sleep. Sounds simple enough. Is it a curse? What is this? For the phone, I could use a ribbon or a thread or anything similar that's red. For the front door, or marker, or do I need to use real paint? And I need to finish it all before the sunset. Maybe it won't be that simple after all. 
All right, you got this. The bus ritual instruction. It details how to summon a bus which picks you up at night. Read full ritual letter. Well, of course I do. It's just some kind of planting. You must play alone. Requirements. An indoor location, a landline phone, a red thread, red paint, a rune, a clock. Preparations. Complete the preparations before the sun is set. Tie a red thread to the phone cord. Using the red paint, draw the following symbol on the exit door of your chosen location. The door must lead outside. Set the alarm clock to midnight. Instructions. Go to sleep. When alarm clock rings, get up and dial the following number on the phone. Triple nine two eight one hashtag zero. When the line connects, say the following words. My bus is late. Board the bus before it leaves. Place the rune inside the bus ticket machine. Remember, do not bring any weapons with you. Got it. The phone may no longer took the, the phone may no longer look the same at night. Remember the placement of the numbers. Do I have to like memorize all of these instructions? What kind of command that you really give me? All right. Well, I need to finish the do list right here. Wait, what's this? Dude, is this the accurate right here? Oh, there's Hero. It's Hero. I wonder what he's reading. I probably shouldn't bother him. He's always so nice to me, but I'm sure he needs a break sometimes. I am a stalker. Uh, no, I was just passing through. Sit, sit. Um, okay. Listen to this. One for sorrow, two for mirth, three for funeral, four for birth, five for heaven, six for hell, seven for the devil, his own self. Spooky, huh? Do you know what it is? A poem? Yeah, about counting magpies. They're kind of like crows, but cuter. Huh? Supposedly, the number of magpies that you see determines your fate. But there are so many variations to the rhyme. How can you properly predict your fate? I'm not sure I believe in fate. It could be nice to believe in something. Hmm, I believe in... Macarons. I thought you would say something like that. I believe in... Lacey. I believe you can achieve your dreams. And I'll try to believe too. Don't hesitate to talk to me if you want. You never bother me, okay? Okay, hero, you're too cheesy. Ow! But thanks. Ah. Yeah. The browser opened on some forums. Check out forums. Sure. Devil's Eyes forums. How to get letter two months ago. Breaking the rules. Let me read this. I want to try a ritual, but I don't know how to get the letter. Help. Read the sticky, you need to send a letter, just name it. If you're chosen to get a golden envelope at some point. I don't get it, it's like my full name, nothing else. What's the address I mail it to? Also, well, doesn't need a stamp. Nobody's helping me, you all suck. Again, information you need is in the sticky. I can't, I can't read what? Full, uh, full brick. Guys, I can't. Uh. Uh. Again, information you need is in the sticky. Read the rules next time. There's a search button for a reason. Post has been locked. The hell? Now, I want to see this code from two years ago. Where does the bus go? Has anyone ever tried the bus bridge? Where does it take you? Is it safe? To your deathbed. If you're looking for safe rituals, you're in the wrong place. Okay, I think I'll just try it. Yellow LOL! Good luck, let us know how it goes. Any update? Dead, probably lol. Don't be so insensitive, probably just an inactive account. Inactive cause dead lol. That's so rude, man. Alright you guys, I'm gonna end this for the first episode cause we got a lot of thinking right here. So, as you can see, my to-do list is almost percent of it. 
but I have to plan right here, which is the ritual letter. As I read through the forums and I read through the passage and the poem that Hero just really added me to, this is some kind of this is some kind of connection that is really going through this whole story about it. Well, I don't know, because we'll be finding out in the next episode of chapter one of paper Lily. so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video sure to smack that like button and of course i'll see you in the next episode which i'll save for the bye bye